My name is Aya Bader. I'm the founder and CEO of Little Bits. Little Bits is a library of electronic modules that snap together with magnets for prototyping, for learning, and for play. I graduated from college starting to do my own interactive art. I was doing it for myself and also doing commissions. And at one point I started to become more interested in the tool uh, than in the outcome of the work that I was doing. And so I became really interested in how do you put the power of electronics in everyone's hands. It's really important that we are able to understand how electricity works how a light comes on, how our systems communicate with each other, and how all these new sensors that are now around us are gathering data about us. And part of what we do at Little Bits is we break down these complex and sometimes abstract concepts into very uh, tangible blocks. So there's a brick that's light and a brick that's sound and a brick that's a sensor and you can build it within seconds without having any background in engineering whatsoever. I used to do a lot more public speaking, particularly when I was a fellow at iBeam and I was uh, a fellow at Creative Commons, really around open source hardware and what the hardware industry can learn from software. It's gaining a lot of traction, but it's still in its early days. And it's more this idea of democratizing electronics and putting the power of electronics in everyone's hands. In the beginning, when I first started, Little Bits was just a prototype, and I put it up on my website. It got picked up by a friend that again got picked up by Engadget. And the next thing I knew, I was receiving hundreds of pre-orders for a product that didn't yet exist. When I first started uh, Little Bits, there wasn't really much around that tried to break down electronics and make it a creative tool. My dream for Little Bits is actually being carried out now. It's for it to become a platform for innovation, a platform for people to become hardware innovators and inventors. We didn't know we would be as successful as a toy, and we've seen the toy industry really embrace Little Bits and really want to, um, uh, to carry Little Bits as an educational toy. Recently, we've seen more people make accessories and attachments and 3D printed contraptions to really amplify the use of Little Bits, and that's something that makes me so excited. It's not one person or one product that's going to make it happen. We have to sort of shift the way we think about education and uh, engineering literacy. And that takes a lot of other uh, companies and players as well.